My favorite element is lithium. It's got three protons and either three or four neutrons in a stable configuration. I want to talk about lithium in bipolar disorder. It's an alkali metal, meaning it's only got one valence electron, which is easily donated to form the lithium ion. This is the same family that sodium and potassium are from, which are physiologically critical. It was formed in the Big Bang, and so you could say it is the ultimate natural medication. Pharmacokinetically, lithium is absorbed completely and rapidly in the gastrointestinal system. It is distributed throughout all the water in your body, and it is not metabolized because, of course, it is an element. It is excreted approximately 95% by the kidney. At the cellular level, it decreases excitatory neurotransmission by lowering levels of dopamine and glutamate. It increases inhibitory transmission by increasing GABA and serotonin levels. It also increases brain volume in the hippocampus, amygdala, and prefrontal lobes. You could say it is true brain food. At a clinical level, lithium is used to control mania. It also prevents relapse. It reduces suicidal drive in bipolar and unipolar depression, and it treats bipolar depression. Finally, it prevents bipolar-related cognitive decline. At a population level, we note that where there's high lithium in the water, there's less suicide and homicide, and the opposite for low lithium in water. This is a globally observed phenomenon. I love lithium.